Oh yeah. Cool beat, cool beat, yeah, yeah, cool beat. All right, cool beat, happy Easter, yes. Mm. Nice beats for the Easter, am I right? Okay, let's lower the music. Uh, hi, hello, hello. Yes, music lower. Production. Thank you. This is great. All right. My singing is terrible. I know you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what a bee, what a boom. Uh, episode number 14 of Bricks and Coffee. Who would have known? 14 weeks straight. No breaks. Wow. This is a ce celebratory coffee. Happy Easter, everyone. Whoever's celebrating. Uh, I think we're gonna keep this one short and simple uh, because I do have a little breakfast, family breakfast. It's like the way we do Easter, like family breakfast, some outing. Yesterday the, the kids had the egg hunt, which was nice. Uh, you like that song? We, we can... Oh, it's so low right now. What's, what's going on? Mm, production! That's better. Thank you. Jimmy, you good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it's good now. Maybe too loud? I don't know, like, this slider is so tiny! Tiny slider for music, okay. <laughs> good morning, happy Easter! So many awesome people in the chat right now. Uh, let's see who's here. Let us, let us see who's here. David! Callum's reviews, members in the chat, welcome, thank you so much for joining. Prepare for the random and unexpected is in the chat. Coffee in Hand Productions, Outsider, Brick Star Wars Boy, Burrito Boys, Charlie, Adrian. Uh, yeah, people are flocking in. Uh, are you guys celebrating Easter? Nathan Briggs is here too. Welcome. How you doing? Klotzko, Mir Uh Before the break, hello. Kyle Tile, welcome. Daniel, hello there. With a hard dot. Hello. Like a lower voice, hello. Yeah, doing good. I, I I woke up kind of late today, like 8 a.m., like an hour before the stream. Uh, yeah, the family is like preparing some some breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I, I need to jump a grocery store. Uh, in a in a few to get some. I think we're we're short on eggs, and eggs are a big thing on Easter. So I may need to get some eggs. Our tradition is to usually do like a egg breakfast, which is like boiled eggs, some ham, some bread some salads uh, and the kids usually um, like in, a, in my tradition we, we dye eggs in like food dyes and uh, then we kind of take those eggs boiled, boiled dyed eggs with co colorful shells and we crack them against each other and who wins gets good luck or something like I don't know so that's like the traditional like Christian Easter tradition I guess uh, that's coming from Poland, actually. Uh, happy Easter bricks and coffee, yes. How do you spell hello in Polish? Cześć, which uh, I can type in the chat. That's how you... That's how you do hello in Polish. Check it out. Boom. See those weird letters? That's she and chi. It's, uh, that's how you pronounce them. Cześć. Hello. <laughs> A happy Easter would be... Uh, happy Easter is like Veso Vesowe uh, Wielkanoce. Wielkanoc it means Easter in Poland. Which is Happy Easter. Wesowe Wielkanoce or like Szczęśliwej Wielkanocy. Like you can also say Szczęśliwej Wielkanocy. Or you can say Wielkiej Nocy, which is like more traditional way of saying it, because Wielkanoc means like large night. It's like the night of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because um, I, I think by the lore he got resurrected like 6 a.m. or something. So in Poland there is a big mass. If you're like a Catholic or Christian and, and you are uh, like celebrating Easter, you go to a, a large mass at 6 a.m. on Sunday, which is like... Um, you know, the hour that Jesus Christ got, like, resurrected himself. So it's kind of like, yeah, interesting uh, religious uh, habit. I mean, I'm not very religious, like, when it comes to practicing this stuff, but, yeah. 
Yeah, we got the dodge. Uh, I think that they posted pictures because somebody purchased actually that set. So it's kind of, kind of official. I think we can talk about it. We can even show it. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have some Polish viewers actually, so they can confirm. Christian is here. Uh, Red Brick Redemption. Hello, Happy Easter. All right. Wow. Thank you guys. I, I don't usually drink coffee on Easter morning, but hey, it's Brixton coffee. Come on, right? Usually, like, the big thing on Christmas, uh, on Christmas, Easter Sunday is the breakfast. Like, it's family breakfast, obviously, I'm, I'm in the US, uh, you know, far from Poland, hard to fly to Poland in the pandemic, so we're celebrating alone. I'm Adipsia, thanks for joining for, for, for a few. All right, uh, I want to keep this one, like, short and simple, not, like, too short, but, um, you know, Easter celebration awaits, so... We shall talk about things. Uh, good news today. I mean, today, this week overall, like pretty. I think Lego is waking up when it comes to um, just stuff, new stuff. There is a lot of good things coming. Um, I don't know about the leaks though, because it's just some things are leaked, some things are not. Lego is messing up on their own, like with the Looney Tunes. You know, if you can buy them, I don't know who messed up and. The guy purchased them at Target in the US, which is, you know, major retailer. And if Lego can't control that, then I don't know how can how they can control anything else. Honestly. Like I would I would understand, like, okay, a small small mom and pop shop of toys sold them to him. No! Target sold them to him, and I think they actually upmarked him. Six bucks per figure, can you imagine? People still say they're gonna be like five bucks per figure. There is no change, but. Hey, Goofy Brick. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, let, let, let's jump right in. Uh, usually, uh, uh, check on things on lego.com. Let's see how the new sets are doing. Uh, what's available. I think we need the Pooh came back in stock. Let's let's find out uh, if there is a change for for that matter. So, let's see. If, is the Discovery still available? Oh, it's still available. So, it's not selling out. I, I thought it would be worse than that. That's pretty cool. That's the US. Um, check check out this beauty. Check out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna place the coffee away from my consoles in in preparation for avoiding the disaster that would be spilling coffee on that expensive equipment. But check out this beauty. We built it last night. Whoever was here, know what's up. It's stunning. We have Hubble too. Yeah. I've been gazing over this for the like when I finished the stream. I've been looking at this thing for like an hour. I was like, Whoa, like this thing is freaking gigantic. I mean, come on. If you're not convinced to buy this set yet, you should be. I, I really want to review this today and post maybe tomorrow or like late tonight. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It might be, I, I was like, I, like the box doesn't give it justice. I was thinking like, this set looks like so sleek and simple. It's almost like looks boring. Nope. Once you build it and you see what's inside, like dudes, this is just, I mean, a lot of you were on the streams anyway. So we have the, the cargo bay. This is the coolest function ever. There you go. The landing gear. Freaking love it. Uh, you have the flaps. You have the air brake and the rudder at in one, so they were like, like this is the rudder, like a normal aircraft because it was a glider overall, and this is the air brake, like this this split assembly, with cockpit with lower deck. You have uh, all the details. Like I've been I've been reading about basically when I finished the stream yesterday, I've been reading about the space shuttle program for like an hour after like looking at this thing. I was like reading about like the columbia disasters and challengers and like seeing like all the details how they different were different from each other endeavor atlantis and then discovery with like its 39 missions i was just like full on space nerd after building this thing for like an hour i was just like reading all the wikipedia pages all of them um i love it i honestly love it might be like i feel like a, like a kid like ugh. beautiful okay uh you can expect a review very soon Hopefully, let me just put it back on the stand. It's absolutely gorgeous. It actually looks cool with that gear down. 
yeah. Ah, one more look. Mm, look at the, the the dramatic lighting right now because the, the main light is on my face, so you can see the dramatic lighting right now. Beautiful, Be pretty, 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 very pretty. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. I really love the design. Yeah, they, they nailed it. Absolutely, they nailed it. Like, there's so much to it. I, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted how good this set is. Super happy. Like, I, I'm wondering why it does have only... Somebody took a star off. Let's see the reviews, shall we? Two stars? How dare you? How dare you? Who, who is it? Let's see. Who gave it two stars and for what? Out of this world. I agree. Uh, out of this world. I agree. Like, is that a duplicate review? No, that's not. That somebody just like typed it twice. It's funny. Uh, super fans. Wh who gave it two stars? Come on. I, I will find you. Are you kidding me, dude? Hamzi. Are you kidding me, dude? Size is very small for being a display model. Are you kidding me? Do you have eyes? Do you have eyes, Hamzi? Not satisfied by the building procedure? Overpriced? Dude. Get out. <laughs> Get out. There is the door. Get out. <laughs> like what what's up with what is this dude's problem? Do you have a pair of eyes, Hamzi? Very small. Are you kidding me? This size is twice the size of my head. Hamzi? I'm I'm gonna cancel culture, you know. <laughs> no, just kidding. Like we love Hamzi, but Hamzi, come on. You gotta, you you gotta, you gotta look twice, man. Did you uh, did you even build it? Oh, I mean, I think he built it because he says it's not satisfying. Dude, where is the happiness in your life? Like, get help. Seven hundred. <laughs> I love the ratio. Hamzi, you're being called out. I think you get the. Hamzi, do you get the gist? Hamzi, Hamzi, do you see it? Hamzi, can I can I zoom in? I can't zoom in further. Hamzi, look at the numbers. I think you might be, you might reconsider. I mean, everybody is to their own opinion. I get it. I, I the freedom of opinion, of course. But, but very like if you okay, if you just typed small. All right, maybe you maybe your your standard set size is the UCS Millennium Falcon. I get it, Hamzi. But you had to add very. This word triggers me a lot because this set is nothing short of small. It's giant, okay? To śmieszne, jak nie mówią po swojemu, mamy po swojemu. Yeah. All right. And enough with dissing Hamzi. <laughs> um, I, I mean, okay, maybe that's the first set you ever built or something. I don't know, dude. Anyway, I love this set. It's beautiful. Don't listen to Hamzi. I don't think he he knocked a half a star off. It should be five right there. <laughs> I think a lot of people disagree. I think he wanted a minifig scale. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> all right, Hamzi, you're officially cancelled. <laughs> no, no, like we all love Hamzi. We we don't do cancelling in in this community, obviously. Um, uh, but but we can laugh for sure. We can laugh. Uh, let's see if the Winnie is is back in stock. I think I, I, I noticed that... Oh, it's on back order, so not too shabby. Get yours while you can. It is. Daniel, it is on back order. In the US, I'm not sure which country you, uh, you're looking up to, but... Um, it's on back order. Which is... Yeah, it's, it's very popular though. So you can get it. Usually, like... That 60 days is usually faster, so don't be discouraged by that. I, I clicked back order on the bonsai tree. It, it said the same. It said 60 days, but they shipped it to me within two weeks. So, yeah. So you can just click it and it should be fast. It should be faster than 60 days. Lego just gives themselves like enough time for any, any like uh, hops and bumps, but you will probably get it faster. Or like check your local stores. Usually the local stores get better stock quicker. Oh, this, the shuttle is, is not on. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised too. The shuttle is still like readily available. When I went to the store to pick it up, uh, the, yeah, like there were like 10 or 12 people. Everybody was buying the shuttle. So I wasn't the first in line. I, I went like five minutes after they opened. 
And a friend of mine was working the day and she said that they stocked the shelf uh, triple uh, three times already. So, you know, when Lego like has the shelf, it fits like five sets and uh, they have more in the in the in the stock room. So she said she already brought like they had like a shelf got empty three times and they had multiple shuttles behind the counter and they were selling like hotcakes. Everybody I saw in the store had a shuttle in the back or in the hands. Yeah, so they were selling. Okay, what about the bonsai tree? Before I know we can get to the news in a sec, but I uh, that 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 Hamzy guy really made me laugh. Temporarily out of stock. Oh boy, not even back order. Yeah, a lot of people were buying it. When I went to when I went to pick up Winnie set, uh, I was the first one to buy it, and I wasn't even at the opening. I was like five minutes after the opening, and I was the first one to buy Winnie, which is interesting. But the shuttle, I had a line of people. But also, like, this past this uh, Thursday when I was picking up the shuttle, um, I think there's just more traffic in malls. Like, people are getting vaccinated, the malls are getting packed. It's summer in California almost, like, it's very warm, so people are really out there. When I went to get Winnie the Pooh, um, the mall was empty. I was, like, one of the very few people that, that came this morning. But when I went to go the sh get the shuttle, uh, a lot of people were. The parking was almost full, yeah. So I, just like more people, more, more traffic, more people coming out uh, to shop. I think that's the, also the the main thing. All right, moving on. So see like my VIP reward center is not loading for some reason. I had this problem for a few days now. I maybe reset my cookies or something. But I just wanted to tell you that that Lego space coin already sold out. Because they're doing those coins for 1,150 points and it's already gone. I think Brickfan was... Yeah, Brickfan was talking about it. I know that bonsai tree situation is, is getting weird. I don't know why. It's been a while and they'll still have problems getting, getting it back in stock. I think it might have something to do with... Um, you know, guys, I think it might have something to do with... Um, the fact that they use that, you know, um, recyclable plastic from plants for for the elements of the tree. Maybe there is a shortage of stock of that particular part. Because maybe there is a specific factory doing this this type of um, sugarcane plastic plants. Uh, and maybe there is a problem with that. So I can... It's a small set. I, I don't see any other reason. Uh, only just... I think the reason is like the shortage of, of certain parts, or maybe the pink frogs are out. I don't know. Or the pink frogs. Yeah, I, I think it's a pink frog may, might be a very custom part and they just like short of that. They add like 50 of, like 100 of these things. Flower bouquet. Um, so maybe that's why. I think maybe a particular factory makes them and they have some shortage. Plus all that Suez Canal stuff, you know. I don't know. Just build it. Ethan, how do you like it? I love this shuttle, actually. I very much love it. Okay, big news. I, it's not in the title, but boom! I think we can share this picture. Because it, it's basically a picture of an actual physical set. So, somebody was able to buy... I'm gonna translate this from German, because it's promobricks.de. There you go, English translation. Thanks, from. Uh, 76904... Uh, the Dragster and the 1970 Dodge Charger uh, T. All right, so it's it's the first it's the comeback of Speed Champions basically. Finally, there's been a delay in Speed Champs. It looks good. I mean, it looks freaking awesome. I want this. Uh, like a this is this name is so long. <laughs> How do you like when I review this set or something like? I don't think this will uh, even fit in the YouTube description, like YouTube title. Um, <laughs> I love this. I know it's good. Like I don't think this even like fits in a YouTube title. I think I'm gonna have to like shorten the set name or something. <laughs> anyway, it's 627 pieces. Really good dragster build. I think the best dragster we ever had in Lego ever. And we had a few. We had Technic dragsters. Yeah, this is great. The charger looks awesome. There's a cool minifigure with shades. Um, Digging, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This is the real, real, real shot. This is the real shot too. I, 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 I'm digging it. It's a, it's a great comeback for Speed Champs. Too many figures, freaking like A-wing canopy or some stuff. I don't know. 
This is beyond cool. This is a great set. I think it's a great comeback for speed champs. Uh, I I'm 100% getting it. Uh, so their cost was 60 bucks. And it's gonna be available in June, like once they figure out why it was available so early. But like, that's very early, like somebody got it like late March or beginning of April, that's kind of crazy. Um, this set is just a recoloring of the Riddler Chase set, really. Which which set number was that one, Brobby1, if I can look it up? I kind of want to see, like, can, can you tell me the set number? In the chat, so I can look it up. The one you're mentioning. Must get it. The car looks which car? Like the the the, the charger looks a little too slim, or the, the the that's how the dragsters look like. I mean, I think it's pretty accurate for the for the scale. It's 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 cool. Like I I wanna see. That's gonna be the large speed champs, right? So we have we don't know what's. Um, I think there were rumors what's next for speed champs, but. Good, good to know that speed jumps are back and they're gonna be back in summer. It's not a recoloring. <laughs> Prefer the single car sets. Uh, each to their own, you know. I, I, I like all the speed jumps. I like that they give you a choice. Uh, I mean, you know, when they became eight stats, they became slightly uh, more expensive. But I do like the fact that they started introducing uh, a plethora of sets, like double sets and single sets in speed jumps. Everybody has something for them. We even had, you know, the large speed champion sets. We had the giant hundred dollars, like that Ferrari set. Remember the Ferrari set? That was like a big one, like a hundred bucks. I always like speed champs, actually. I think it's one of the coolest teams. Seven six one zero two. Seven six zero. Seven six zero one two. Let me look it up. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna get a new tab from Brickset and let's look it up. Let us. Let us look it up and see if you guys are right. Is that even on Brexit? 76012. Batman Riddler Chase. Oh, that's very far from recoloring. Come on, dude. That's not even close. I don't think it's close. No, are you kidding me? The only similarity is like the concept. The drugs are like that's not even close. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> Very different. Come on. Yeah, we get the dragster in a car, but that's where similarities end, and that's it. Come on, come on. <laughs> are you trolling? Um, yeah. All right, let's, I'm going to close this one. Let's talk about maybe before we get to April Fool's Looney Tunes. All right, guys, so favorites and non-favorites from this wave. It was a joke. Okay, whoosh, flew right by me. Um, boom. Oh, I'm... I should have like a screen only effect. All right. I do not like the Roadrunner, what I, what I said in the stream uh, yesterday. I do not like that the Roadrunner is a figure. I think he should be a mold, like that Flamingo, something along those lines that goes together with Coyote. And then we have one empty slot, right? Then, I do not like Tweety being being a minifigure. Tweety should be a mold that goes with this guy, Sylvester the Cat. And then we have a second slot open. And uh, all the other guys' favorites, y y Coyote, number one. Uh, Bugs is good, Duffy is good. I don't think Petunia should have a space here. She's not a very well-known character, but here we are. Taz, also top three. Uh, everyone else really good anyway, so if we consider having two empty slots for Tweety and Roadrunner I would say Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam are missing for some reason Duffy even has the rabbit season Which was always the joke with Elmer Fudd and he was trying to just convince Elmer to hunt bugs instead of him 
Um, and I'm, my only explanation is like Elmer Fad is not here because he was always carrying a giant shotgun. And Yosemite Sam is not here because he was always carrying two pistols. Which is stupid because 90% of Looney Tunes uh, relies on cartoonish violence. They're always fighting for something like against each other. Like basically Elmer blows Duffy's beak like 50 times an episode every time. There's like an even episode with Elmer showing up at random spaces pl places and blowing up Duffy's face with a giant shotgun. So that's 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 all Looney Tunes. Like we all grew up with this. We know this is funny in a way. And I don't know like it did Lego that didn't get these two iconic guys instead of like Petunia or whatever for that reason because they always shoot stuff I don't know but Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam are the big missing characters for my and I don't think there is a chance to get them in the future because like unless Lego does some sort of like a Looney Tune line of sets which is uh, unlikely then we're not gonna be seeing Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fudd Tweety has a giant hammer uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the, with the cartoons or the series but Tweety Tweety was like this, like, oh, the I don't like to wipe the kid, and then he pulls up a giant hammer and, and hits Sylvester in the head. Like, he's, he was like, he was pretty mean to Sylvester sometimes. Like, there was a few episodes when he was actually fighting back. He was just like, always like a cute witty beard, you know, cute little beard. And then he was just like smashing him with the giant hammer. But yeah, that's, that's, by the way, that's also a weapon. That's also a cartoonish weapon. And Sylvester has a freaking baseball bat. So what's wrong with Elmer having a cartoonish shotgun? I have no idea. Uh, Willy the Coyote should have some, some like an Acme box. Like he has an anvil, which is also a joke in its own. But but he should have some, like, like an Acme box or something like... Uh, they wouldn't give him dynamite because Lego somehow doesn't like dynamites lately, you know? <laughs> um, Lola is nice too. Oh, uh, by the way, we get finally, for the first time ever, we get actual cheese printed on a cheese piece. Yes, so this is finally a cheese piece as it's supposed to be. <laughs> first time prints on the on the uh, cheese piece. Uh, also, the shuttle has prints of of buttons on the on the piece for the first time, which is nice. Uh, Marvin, uh, I think his head should be bigger. That's just like a regular minifigure head with giant eyes, but I think in the cartoon, the, the ratio of his head to his body is is much crazier. Like, his head is giant. He's like this tiny guy, like, I'm gonna disintegrate you, you know? Um, I love how Porky has that's all fox sign. That's awesome. Taz with the chicken leg and the pie. Uh, I think it's from the Bugs Bunny episodes. Yeah. I still love the series too. I mean, I'm glad they exist. It's not like it's just like a few things that I wish we had, but still we are actually getting Looney Tunes, which is amazing. Yeah, he has a gun, but it's like the the disintegrator ray he was using. So he has a weapon. So yeah, if he has a, a like a Martian gun, I don't see why Yosemite Sam cannot come with two pistols or especially since Lego has the pistol piece. I mean, come on, you see. I, I, I'm just speculating. I don't think that's the reason. There, there was... I just don't agree uh, with their decision to, to not have Elmer and Yosemite Sam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and Willy Coyote explodes himself, jumps off the cliff after hanging in the air for a few seconds, hits the, the wall with a painted tunnel all the time. My favorite character by far of all Looney Tunes, like Coy Willy was like... I always felt bad for the guy. I was like, just, just let him catch the, let him catch the freaking ostrich, you know, or Roadrunner, whatever. I thought it was an ostrich at some point. Uh, but actually, Roadrunner is actually a species too, and they live in the in the desert. It's true. <laughs> uh, but like, I was like, just, just let him catch him once, like once, and maybe he escapes so that he doesn't have to eat him. But like, you know, something. I felt bad for the guy. He's like the smartest coyote on the planet and always loses. The big red hairy monster, yeah. There is a few characters they can still do. Uh, they could do the, the Leghorn um, rooster. Foghorn Leghorn, I think that's his name. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, the Roadrunner is, is weird. With the normal minifigure legs. I don't know. Tom and Jerry? <laughs> I think Tom and Jerry has actually less violence than Looney Tunes. Is Porky almost nude? <laughs> well, he always was, kind of, you know. Um, I think Tom and Jerry had less violence than Looney Tunes in general, honestly. There were, like, Looney Tunes, almost every episode was some sort of, like, just... The, they're brawling or fighting for, like, against each other every episode. Whereas Tom and Jerry, like, always Tom was trying to cut Jerry and all this stuff, but... Tom and Jerry had a bunch of very wholesome episodes. I mean, same goes for Looney Tunes, but there were episodes in Tom and Jerry when they would like team up and, and, and do something good, you know, and I don't think Tom and Jerry is any any less appropriate than, than Looney Tunes, for sure. Like it's, I grew up with both cartoons and I thought they were great in its own way. They were funny, uh, long lasting, you know. But I, I wonder, I mean, Tom and Jerry also has a, has a plent plethora of characters that you can introduce. Um, and it's, it's kind of weird because we're getting the Tom and Jerry movie, right, like right now, soon. Which is the, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for LEGO to, to do it, but, you know, we're getting Looney Tunes, so it just kind of overlaps, you know. And I think Looney Tunes came out because of the new Space Jam movie, honestly. I think it's because of the Space Jam. Uh, the timing can be a coincidence. Then you're welcome. Yeah, so what do you guys think? I, I would really like this guy joins this guy as a mold, this guy joins this guy, boom. Elmer Fat goes in, Yosemite Sam goes in, we have perfect series. Nothing else added, nothing else taken away. Yeah. Pepe Le Pew is missing because he was cons he was cancel cultured actually. <laughs> uh, the, the skunk. These days they hide the minifigs in the packet, so well it's almost impossible to tell what you're going to get. Uh, it takes extra skill right now because a lot of them are packed with extra foil pack inside, uh, like protecting some pieces. So you know you have to know what you're looking for. Usually the small pieces, like I can tell you, like right now, quick, quick, quick uh, analysis. Uh, Lola, the ball falls down to the back. You can pick it up. Probably she has. Uh, a folded uh, bunny ears in the back, so that's that's a big one. Bugs, carrot, easy. Uh, that stem piece, easy to find. Willy, um, the cheese piece, uh, but also the the small piece, which is unique for him. And the head mode is big, so easy to find. Uh, Road runner, boom, the ball, easy. Uh, and probably has this. This must be rubber, and probably his tail is rubber, most likely. I, I I'm calling this this is rubber, so you can find this by by rubber. Uh, Tweety, boom, the, the pole for the hammer, easy to find, also two large, three large round pieces, easy, uh, you don't even have to look for anything else. Sylvester, the bat, easy. Uh, rabbit season, you can find this plug, it has a snapper connector in the back, so easy to find, also the pole, so you can, you can kind of like tell this or this, and also Porky has a longer one, so you have to, but I, I think I would find this first and, and get it confirmed. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez, cheese pieces, easy, always at the bottom of the bag. There's a hat too, probably. Taz, chicken leg or the pie. And he has a large circular stand as well because he's spinning. Also had a special mold, easy find. Uh, Marvin, the gun, obviously. Uh, Petunia, the, the teacup or the teapot, either of those. Always accessories are easier to find. And the skirt is also hard plastic. And Porky has a large 2x4 plate. A 2x4, yeah. And a large pole. And also a small piece here. So also easy. I, I think every every single one would be easy to find, honestly. And uh, 12 per series, so, so it's like 36 per box probably. Um, yeah, there you go. Happy that they exist. They could be better. They could have been better. Like, look, this guy paid like six bucks each. He got. I think he got scammed. <laughs> head in the head is one piece. All right. So you, still you can find the cheese elements easily. Because they always are at the bottom. Like, sh rattle the back and they're gonna be at the bottom. Uh, like, th you thought this is an ice cream sundae? It's a pie. Yeah, here's a pie. 
I wouldn't be touching the bags with COVID. Yeah, I, I don't think a lot of stores will not even allow it to you. Lego stores for sure, but probably Target. If you sanitize your hands, then why not? Just sanitize your hands before and after and keep the bags clean. Or sanitize the bags, like have a little Purell with you or something. That's also possible. Just sanitize. Yeah, Brick Fan uh, has the same article. All right, I like this. I like this one. They do have a. I think Brickfan has a, had a roundup too. Hold on. I think Brickfan had a better roundup of of. Uh, I want. I want to look up the like April Fools. Um, April Fools uh, jokes. <laughs> oh, we have new shoes, by the way. Let's look at this real quick. Ultra Boost DNA and Lego plates shoes revealed. Those look actually better than the first lineup of Adidas shoes. They actually like I like the coloring much better. They actually would I would actually run in these because they're running shoes. They look they, they look so much better in toned down version, honestly. So much better than the first one, which was like a just like a blah of colors. Yeah, they look much more casual, which is good. I like that Adidas logo, built uh, thro from like two by twos. It's kind of cool, like two, one, two, three, right? No, that was like a <laughs> the Lego leaks was a April Fool's joke, <laughs> which is I think my favorite. Ultra Boost, right on. There was also, by the way, if you are here already, there was a leak that Lego will do. A model of shoes in buildable form, like an actual set of the Adidas Superstars. Set number is 10282 and it's supposedly coming in September. Can you imagine? I'm not buying this. I think this is stupid, honestly. P possibly for 90 euro, 731 parts and it's gonna be like a, a, a model of a single shoe. Sk easy skip, I'm skipping this, I don't, I don't want this. Sneaker heads, yeah, for sure, but for me, no, no, thank you. I think it's stupid. Anyway, any sneakers, any sneaker heads in the chat? <laughs> I wanna, I wanna look up the, um, cause Brickfan had a really good roundup of the, oh, of the April Fool's Day. All right, yeah, we got it. So, let, let's laugh together. So what Brickfan did, <coughs> he posted about the 20th anniversary Jack Stone sets. <laughs> that was pretty good. He even like, did like a press release, all this funny stuff. <laughs> so I like this one a lot. Uh, but from the roundup, Ash and Flash did a video of a, a, <laughs> a Batcopter uh, from the classic Batman TV series with an actual plaque with, like he'd put some effort into it and even the box graphic yeah he did good uh this is some like i don't know what this website is but legoland texel resort okay bricks fans i think my favorite wild leaks <laughs> such a great wordplay this is amazing and he even like put the effort to put like a confidential like watermark, <laughs> like it's a leaked picture of leaks. <laughs> this is great. And people thought like, even Ethan was like in the chat was like, really? No, dude, it's it's an April Fool's joke. The vegetables collection, <laughs> black box. That is one of my favorites this year. This is super funny. Ash got be good, yeah, because it looks so it looks so so realistic. Like you can tell like his thumbnail even like looks like his other thumbnails. So I like the leaks one because it's it touches on the topic of leaks lately because every everything is like leaking information. We had this land discussion about leaks and he's they, they are doing the wild leaks. <laughs> and I like the addition of the word wild. Wild leaks, everybody. The leaks have leaked. <laughs> uh, I, I love the touch of the confidential sticker uh, watermark. Um Brickfinder Lego House is moving to Singapore. That's a funny one. Not, not, not as not as funny as yeah uh, also uh, Singapore magnet uh, Brickner did a, a logo change I think yeah 
Oh, the Brickster was, was awesome. This was awesome. <laughs> Lego Duplo design for adults. <laughs> like they're basically making fun of the like the crazy uh, lifestyle shots of <laughs> all those like new like sets get the um, the designer video and those like lifestyle shots of some guy like sitting in the background having coffee and there's like a giant Porsche or Lamborghini thing in the front. So Duplo is introducing Duplo design. <laughs> what did they say? Explore the building blocks of life. The Lego group brings the Duplo construction experience to adult builders. <laughs> this was amazing. Um, following several months of artistic experimentation and research, we discovered that 61% of adults struggle to find time for, for creativity, while 46% take inspiration from the natural world and mathematics. This research informed the development of globe and geometric ju juxtaposing evanescent building experiences with the experimentation of two beloved... What is this gibberish? What does it even mean? <laughs> I love I love how they copy... Like, they, they did like a full copyright. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> Duplo design globe <laughs> and Duplo design <laughs> geometric. So this is the globe set. Okay, this is the globe set. You guys don't see the globe. You are not arti like artistically sensitive enough to not see the globe in this. It's beautiful. The pure form of art. Yes. Uh, <laughs> those are like cheeky pictures like Lego uh, look at this this is the Lego Duplo design geometric mm. I would put this one on my coffee table <laughs> How, like should we stream this one guys I'm getting this are we streaming it live stream anybody how long would it take I don't know, there are so many Ethans in the chat, I don't know, you guys figure it out. I think Ethan Cho was saying something, something. You're Ethan, Ethan, Ethan Ho and Ethan Cho, but you guys, you guys should figure it out, like Ethan 1 and Ethan 2, I don't know. Figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> right on, uh, we also had brick tracks. Uh, that's that's like a, I don't know that's like a YouTube channel about trains, R8 curve. Uh, Lego Ebro Bricks did like a new uh, pirate ship tease. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Jace Brickblock said that Lego to require a mandatory proof of age <laughs> for all 18 plus. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, and Lego itself they did smart bricks, which is <laughs> this is funny too. Lego Lego themselves, so they. It's like bricks that escape your foot, like... <gasps> Don't step on a brick ever again! Get ready for a new experience! This is... this is actually brilliant. I mean, I wouldn't mind. Would save so much pain and suffering. Yeah, please make it happen, Lego. Like they have some... or maybe like invite socks that have magnets and bricks have like the opposite polarity and they like just escape you as you move on because of the magnet power, you know? This is great. <laughs> I, I would buy, I would buy. Promo Bricks said that there's a Lego Bavarian sets. Um, <laughs> Lego Bavarian sets to come in 2021 in autumn. <laughs> Bavarian specialties. Oktoberfest set. <laughs> Bavarian mosaic art. <laughs> Allianz Arena. Stadium. <laughs> Some castles and stuff. Uh, our conclusion is a must buy. Yeah, that's this is great. Um, Rambling Brick said the 2x4 brick mold introduced as part of the limited collection collector bricks. <laughs> okay. Um, new 2x4 is remade. Rebrickable removing minifix from the database. The Brothers Brick introducing the brick stick. Semi permanent, permanent uh, adhesive for Lego bricks. <laughs> Lego, I like the black box. Lego solutions. Brick stick. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. We, we, we gotta divide four three and a half hour streams the Duplo set. Yeah, I think it's it's not gonna take 
shorter than that. Uh, yeah, cool, cool little roundup. I I think that's a, that's a pretty solid uh, April Fools. I think a few YouTubers did other things like Brick Vault did uh, a teaser for like a 55 meter Star Destroyer, like minific scale, because somebody sent them. Uh, I think a, a guy Eighth Fleet or on Instagram sent them like renders of the actual giant uh, minific scale Star Destroyer he's working on. Actually, somebody tries to do it. Actually, somebody tries to do it, you guys. It's not a joke. Um, yeah, I think Brickset also did yeah the same the same roundup. But yeah, I mean the leaks the leaks are like top three. All right. Boom! This thing was unveiled. Hey, Sai O'Connor, how you doing, man? Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, what time is it, by the way? Oh, it's 9.50. Okay, so we're gonna... I don't wanna go too long because, again, uh, Easter is waiting. But this is the set of, to buy. Uh, coming April 26th. It was <clears throat> shown this, um, this week. For 30 bucks, I would say great buy. It's displayable. It has a little stand and a plaque even so. Two minifigs. Great Joker, great set, really good set, wow, right? Like, wow, that's a, like a wow in my book. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be launching, a lot. there's a big wave coming 26th, so the, he the, the helmets, uh, DC stuff, I think there's even minions come back, because those, remember those minion sets that they were delayed, they're coming. This is a very good set for the price. Looks great too. I think it's gonna sell very well. I mean, it looks amazing for a si for the size, and you don't have to buy that giant uh, retro bat cave to get it anyway. I I've seen the I've seen the actual model of this in Peterson Automotive Museum. If you wanna, if you guys wanna see that Cybertruck vlog on my channel. You can see they have the, the the actual thing in the museum, and I, I have it on tape, like recorded. How many pieces? Uh, Three hundred forty-five. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, I would say. That's a pretty good deal. Definitely a good buy. Uh, I definitely want it. Mm -hmm. Very good set. Hello, Peter. Yeah, the stand, everything, like, it's like, a, you know, it's a playset, but also, like, it's a display set. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Perfect desk piece. Um, definitely, like, small, compact, good price. There is there is nothing against it. The group brick heads leaked a while back, don't know if you covered it. Uh, maybe, I don't remember. Maybe. There is a second one coming. Uh, that's a 4 plus by the way, just want to report on that because it's also new. A small little <laughs> Batmobile. That's the same day launch. Uh, or, like 30 bucks this or 30 bucks this? 30 bucks? 30 bucks. I think the decision is simple for an adult fan. This one however has three minifigures and it has some, some great minifigs too. I mean, okay, only, yeah, only one minifigure is great. Uh, who's that, by the way? Is that the the classic? Oh, that's the classic Batgirl. Okay, so that's exclusive. Batman is is the usual, but I would rather get this, obviously. The both. Okay, this one for the minifigure mostly. This one for everything, for sure. Uh, the Batgirl has been added to Lego Legocom, so man, it's gonna be a big day for Batman fans, I think. Anyway. This is also April 26th. There's a huge wave of sets coming. Oh man, we're gonna have to be selective. Um, also, this is coming. Same day. By the way, I, I have them side by side ready. So people told me that they're the same build. I think they are. Look at that. Boom. 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 Yeah, so Venom only differs by color scheme and the tongue. Yeah, exact same build. Like, look at look at the head. They like 
Yeah. They're exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, this is... Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Only the tongue is different, I think. Yeah. So, just a color, color change, pretty much. But the teeth are cool, yes. So, we got black teeth and uh, tan. Do you think it's lazy? Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. But like, how how can you model? How can you like the, like the design is good. So like, I wonder why would Lego change it? I know it's it seems lazy, but like, how can you do it better? Because they're like the same kind of like alien species, kind of like they're same type of of organism, right? They're like they're basically the same type of entity yeah so i don't know how they would change it honestly to make it different like do, how do you guys think they can change it like do you have any ideas how they would do it to differentiate them more than that like i, I I'm, I'm, I'm like genuinely asking like how how would you change it they're like the same thing like I, I don't know they would have to come up with two different designs for the same thing kind of that's uh, I'm trying to like justify it you know the eyes aren't too bad for current but for them they're quite inaccurate yeah the eyes are the same on both but maybe Venom could have different Ch change the eyes change the eyes hmm. Let's see, Venom, Marvel. Venom has like giant eyes too. Let's see if I have a better, better picture. Excuse me, maybe from the comics? I can't make this picture bigger, open, open image. Hmm. Yeah, this one's like a, like a packed Venom, like a Super Venom. Uh, I mean, maybe Sideshow Collectible has like the best. Yeah, the Sideshow collectible they, they usually do the best job on the depicting yeah like he has like a pattern uh, that's the sideshow collectible that's like probably the highest quality display venom you can possibly get oops ah okay ah why is the I'm not clicking anything hold on no honey I don't want any rewards thank you why is it doing this? See, I, I can't... Okay. Mm. They can, they can, they, they can, they can modify it slightly maybe for Venom. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm. Perhaps. I don't know. I still like them though. I think, I, th I still think they're pretty cool. Oh yeah, those sideshow collectibles, dudes. Um, they are. Where, where was it? Where was this sideshow? Uh, no. These guys go for one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. I've seen these guys up close in every com on every comic con. The sideshow, this company, has a giant display booth every year on comic-con and i spend like three hours in the booth every time and this is this is on the cheap side by the way this is cheap for their collectibles this is cheap okay we are not worthy you guys some of them like you can ha you can have like a life-size iron man for ten thousand dollars from them like one to one with shining helmet and all this stuff with like lights in the in his face in his mask 
This is cheap, okay, from Sideshow. This is cheap, by the way. And collectors will pay tens of thousands of dollars for their man caves from that company. So that's for the perspective, what are we talking about even here? Um, there is this set coming. Oh, it's out actually right now. This is actually out right now. I, I, I don't know why I didn't get it when I was getting the shuttle, honestly. I, I didn't notice. Look at the reference pictures from behind the box. <clears throat> I see. So even they like this, they show the reference picture and they see that you can see the eyes are much bigger on, on the actual Venom. Yeah, clear. Like, yeah, they, they <laughs> that's that's Lego's fault. They do it side by side and you can tell it's entirely different. Like that white should go way higher. Like they're not even compare, right? So that Lego even shows that to us. And like, yeah, we didn't get it accurate. Sorry, buy it anyway. Uh, it's kind of th this way of saying things. All right, let's move on. <laughs> you already have it. What? Oh, oh, you mean you have the this one? Yeah, I I don't know. I was I was getting the shuttle, and I think it was already out on the shelves. I just didn't notice. I should have picked it up. I want this minifigure especially. The, the, the Venom Ham? Come on. How is it called even? I don't even know. Two great minifigures in this one. Like, yeah, great minifigs. Um, Alright. This is coming. So this was supposed to launch uh, together with the shuttle. <clears throat> but it's delayed at this point. And you're gonna have to spend like 1800 VIP points to get it. I'm waiting, because I bought the shuttle, they know I bought it, I think I should get an email saying how to get it, hopefully. Um, I want it because I think it's gonna go great with the shuttle and um, it might actually fit inside the shuttle uh, payload payload bay, just as it was It was actually launched by, by Discovery. It's one of the missions. Discovery not only launched Hubble and made two service missions to Hubble telescope later, it also launched the Ulysses uh, space probe. So yeah, Discovery flew 39 missions and U Ulysses was, was one of those missions. It was 1990 mission, yeah. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> it was a, a sun scanning probe, I think. It was supposed to, um, to, to scan the sun and, and study the sun. Pork grind? That's cool, I didn't know the name. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, okay, so this was just like Discovery is available, we have it. It is beautiful, obviously. Boom, in the shot right now real quick, just on the in the corner of the screen. Beautiful set, I love it. Um, oh, this is, this is uh, something probably you noticed this week, but uh, Skywalker Saga is delayed. And I was, I was expecting that, honestly. Uh, I, I think it was to be expected. Uh, I would rather have a complete game and wait for it than to have like another cyberpunk disaster, honestly. Um, they just said, it's a, it's a brief statement from TT Games that makes the game. All of us at TT Games are working hard to make LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga the biggest and the best ever LEGO game, but we're going to need more time to do it. We won't be able to make our intended spring release date, but we'll provide updated launch timing as soon as possible. Quick quick little statement. Yeah, I, I mean, that's fine. Um, you know, I just hope, because all the studios were working through the pandemic, limited stuff, uh, remote work, I get it, it takes longer. So even though like Cyberpunk, right? Cyberpunk was delayed like a few times and st yet still the game was a launch disaster and they just they just released like patch 1.2, which fixes some things, but still the game is in a very bad state. I played some of Cyberpunk on Google Stadia, and I, I don't feel like coming back to it until they really fix a lot of bugs. So I hope like this time they need will actually make, like that's gonna be the most grander, the largest, the most comprehensive LEGO game ever made. So I, all of us, I think we, we would appreciate this being a really, 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 really good game. So let's wait. Let's give them the time. The, this year was, was heavy on any, everyone, especially people working on things like that. 
so give them some slack. Okay, it's an unusual time. I don't think the delay is is something to worry about. Um, I think they need extra time. Yeah, I play on Google Stadia, yeah. Just because I, I don't use my PC anymore almost, I work on a Mac and you don't have games on a Mac. So it's for me, Stadia, I have like a, you know, fiber connection. So Google Stadia, I can play in 4K, no problems, like highest resolution. I have Cyberpunk on Stadia. I play a lot of their free games with your subscription. I have Stadia Pro. And you can play on your phone too. You can play on your iPad. It's great, actually. I've been using Stadia for a few months and I love it. I play Enter the Gungeon. I play a bunch of other games on Stadia. Great. I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if you don't use a PC like me, Stadia is amazing. Um, because I only play on Stadia right now and on PlayStation 4. That's it. And I can recommend Stadia, honestly. Like, unbiased opinion. Like, I tested it. It works great. But you need a good connection. You need, like, a, I have, like, 300 fiber. So, because I stream a lot. and But Stadia works like... You, you forget it's, it's a streaming service. You forget about it. Because it's so good. With the good connection. And it works on all your devices. And I can play, like, high-end games that are normally not on a Mac system. But through, through Stadia, you play it on a Mac. So, yeah. Stadia is great. Um, so yeah, delay is there. Let's wait more. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, we talked about this. Uh, oh yeah, so just a quick update on the minions. Uh, these sets, like, there was a weird situation because I think they cancelled. Let's see what time it is. They cancelled a few sets. Uh, and I think one of them made their way to the shelves. One or two. I think just the good had some and... People were picking like that. That some of them were being sold, like that, those those big uh, minions with the base inside. Those were sold. But finally, even though the movie, it's so weird because the movie is not coming out until 2022. I think they 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 delayed it like crazy. Uh, because those movies, like especially like animation movies, rely on theaters packed with kids. I think they do. But at the same time, we've seen. Um, the second Trolls movie launching on Amazon Prime and uh, and I think it broke some records for like the most like rented new movie ever or something I don't know so they might as well do it but for some reason they're they're delaying the movie until the next year and Lego probably was like whatever we have those sets like we can't lose any more money on that right so these sets are coming I think along with everything else on on April 26th <laughs> which is interesting um, yeah, even the brick fan says that the movie was pushed back to July 1st, 2022, which is crazy. So yeah, this date will be a launch of, of a lot of sets, by the way. Uh, yeah, so there is that. It's a cool article of the anatomy of the aliens. Again, Brickset was posting a few of these over time. All of the creatures from Star Wars. Really cool breakdown. So good read overall, I can recommend. And like ideas, quick look. <laughs> Let's do it real quick. I'm trying to rush things because like uh, I think we're past over over hour right now, and I I wanna like uh, get back to the fam. So yeah, try Stadia. It's good. I, I can recommend. Uh, Lisbon tram. Congrats, Bricky Brick again. Strikes again. This guy, relentless. Uh, he's been having quite a few projects. Um, Pretty cool, kind of like a semi-modular with a street to it. Well, there was ET there. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Is ET a Star Wars thing? What, what, what are you talking about? So he was. Azogians and E.T. was part of Star Wars? What? He was a cameo as a homage to Steven Spielberg? What? I didn't know that. He makes a cameo in the Senate. Okay, I'm reading that that uh, that ch um, chapter. Alright. It's, it's more like an easter egg than anything else. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Congrats, uh, Bricky Brick. Dude, like, so, oh, at least, I mean, at this point, at least one of your things has to be made, man. Because this guy is relentless. He's just posting and posting, and a lot of these projects are, are, are getting uh, to, the, to the review club. Second one, uh, Princess Bride, the Gilder Frontier. I mean, okay. Uh, FS Leynad, congrats. Right. I have no emotional connection to this. I have no idea. Here it is. Interesting display piece. That's all I can say, but I have no idea what's going on here. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know this. I don't know this movie. I know this classic. I don't know. I, I just I just don't. I don't know. Probably a lot of people were like, why do you not know this? I, I don't. I just don't. I don't know what's going on here. So, congrats, I guess. Um, yeah. Cool. Right. How many have how many projects do we have right now? 155? I don't know. In that next review stage, it's kinda crazy, am I right? Alright, that's it for the news, guys. I am wrapping things up. Uh, we gotta get uh, get the breakfast going. We gotta get the breakfast going. Um, and yeah, happy Easter once more. Finishing my coffee here. What is this? Like, I, I don't know either. No, I did not see the movie, no. I've seen a lot of movies, but not this one. Nope. I know it's a classic. I know a lot of people are fans of it, but... It's not my, it's not the genre I'm into. Um, but I, yeah, I'm more like, uh, I'm, I'm the most into like sci-fi horror. Most into that. I think this is more like a, like a, like a love story, right? I guess. Or more like a historian, I don't know. Breakfast? Yeah, it's Easter. In Easter, like, it's... Dude, I'm in California. It's 10 a.m. Uh, so, yes, we're gonna be having uh, kind of like a festive breakfast in a, in a few. I gotta actually go to the Lego store get some eggs. Uh, Lego... <laughs> to the Lego store get some eggs. No, to the grocery store get some ingredients. It's 10 a.m. And California, baby. I'm in the U.S. There are things called time zones. Yep. That's, that's right. I'm, that's why it's it's coffee, bricks and coffee, not like bricks and supper, because I do it in the mornings, <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this this breakdown. What's uh, what's the biggest piece of news? I think Looney Tunes takes the cake, right? Looney Tunes takes the cake this week. Uh, April Fools was great this year, actually. I think Looney Tunes is where where we are, have our eyes. The most. Mm -hmm. I may or may not uh, be able to see those up close very soon. Before most people. Who knows? Yeah. Just stay tuned to Beyond the Brick, I would say. Uh, Alright. You guys... Uh, this is it. Happy Easter. I love you all. Thanks so much for for all the support this week. I do appreciate it. My channel is uh, is doing fine. I would say I'm pretty happy with how things are. Uh, we had some good streams. We had some really good streams this week. Um, so thank you so much for, for the support. We have 7.23k subscribers, which is great. Uh, oh, look, look, we're live with 27 people. Awesome. We had awesome four-parter with the space shuttle. Uh, those are like, look, look at you guys. Thank you so much for coming and chatting. And like this stream, the first part broke 1000 views. The second, like this is part two, like that's not, not in order for some reason from YouTube, but part two and part three, uh, like almost five, like 500, 400 views. And the, the last one had 400 views. So you guys were coming in, flocking in joining super chatting uh, it really helps me uh, with the channel that video bombed by the way that tesla review nobody likes it i mean some of you like it but i guess the views are not there so if you can watch it please watch it i think it's a diff it's a different type of video because it's not a lego set but i do enjoy this 
I do enjoy this quite a bit. I mean, this thing is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for, for playing along, for coming to my streams, for uh, watching the stuff, clicking those likes. Have you clicked the like today? You should. Uh, thank you so much for everything, really. Um, it just keeps me going, even though sometimes I may not have time for all of this, even though I want to publish more and more stuff. Uh, and But you guys are making this happen because are motivating me to go forward. The next video will be probably the, the Space Shuttle review. I want to do it real quick. Uh, maybe if I'm gonna, I'm gonna record maybe today afternoon or something and edit by tomorrow, hopefully. Um, yeah, good stuff. The next stream, uh, I still have the Mustang to build. Um, and as I said in the shuttle streams, I might be taking a bit of a break for on spending on Lego. It's just, I can't afford this all. Even with your amazing support, uh, I'm, I'm trying my best, but I can't afford this all. Uh, this is crazy. We're like we're not even four months in, and I'm already like way over budget when it comes to when it comes to uh, just buying Lego. It's it's crazy. Like I'm, I have to purposefully skip some sets I really want. I think that April 26 launch, the, the the wave. I think I'm gonna skip a lot because I just can't spend that much money all the time. <laughs> Happy Easter. Take care, everyone. Who's that? I just thought it was a real Tesla. Hey, I, it means I, I took a pretty good thumbnail picture because the model looks like this model. With, with if you if you get real close with the camera, this thing looks looks so good up close. I hope the video showed it, but the de the amount of detail is is stunning. It's it's basically perfect miniature. Like you have to like if if you're if you're done holding it and looking at the video, you can you can you cannot even tell it's it's not a real car. Uh, it looks amazing, really. So yeah, I think we're gonna slow down on the buying. I, I may get some of the 26th April sets, I maybe one or two helmets, but that's already like a hundred bucks. And then, you know, a bunch of things like that Batmobile is coming out, that's 30, so that's probably okay. Um, but when it comes to big stuff, I just got the shuttle, we got Winnie, we got, you know, the blacksmith in the past, we got the, the Ninjago City uh, Gardens was a big purchase. Um, yeah, like my wallet is crying literally. So I think the next biggest buy might be the R2D2, but not sure. I think this one's coming on May the 4th, obviously. I think that's gonna be a big launch for the Star Wars day. Um, so even though I'm, I'm, I'm doing a full time, no, it's not a full time, but it, it's, a, it's a significant part of my life channel. <laughs> my budget is stretched thin. So I hope you guys okay with like, I'm not gonna be able to get all the sets like day one and like stream right away. It's sometimes impossible. I have I have other expenses too. So I hope you guys understand, but your support means a lot because it can help me plan ahead and maybe save a bit to, to get the bigger stuff that are more awesome for you to watch stream and whatever, um, you know. When is the next live stream? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I still don't have a real schedule. I'm I'm on a kind of like a, on a on a break right now, so I have the day off on Monday, still. But I'm coming back to work on Tuesday, uh, and today I'm think I'm gonna take most of the day off, just like maybe film something in the evening. Tomorrow I, I'm gonna try to chill more. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how the week goes. I I still don't really have a real stream schedule, but when I can, I usually stream. Like, I I won't be able to stream during the day anymore because again, uh, I'm coming back to work on Tuesday. Uh, so I think we're gonna come back to the more like a, excuse me, afternoon schedule. Yeah. I may step back and get some sense about to retire. Yeah, for me it's hard because you know like I I'm, I'm divided because I wanna deliver fresh content, right? But running this channel at this point is is absolutely not cost effective. It's like. You guys support me in an amazing way, but I, I, it's not, it's not covering the full cost, you know. So I gotta be careful what I, what I spend. Um, that, that's, that's most of it. So it's, it's like the division be between like, I wanna deliver the most fresh content I can, but at the same time I can't afford it all. It's, a, it's a very expensive hobby if you think about it. <laughs> not as expensive as other hobbies. Um, and I feel like I have a bigger obligation to like really buy stuff, <clears throat> even though I can stuff can wait probably. But I really want to like share this with you as quickly as possible as, at the same time. Um, so it's kind of like a, 
a compromise between what I can get real quick. Like, for example, the shuttle, I knew I would get the shuttle like right away because this is a set I want. <clears throat> I was, I didn't want to risk not, not being able to like buy it for weeks uh, after because it might be sold out. It's not sold out yet, but it might be soon. Um, but yeah, things like those helmets, you know, I, I would love to review them, but they're not on my like priority list. So, yeah. I'm planning for the Batmobile or the JP, or oh, Jurassic Park Gate. That's a cool set. I it's on my like deep and deep wish list. Man, my wish list is growing heavily. It's crazy. Um, yeah, we get it, Mike. Thank you, Broston. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna st st tune out. Uh, happy Easter. Stay awesome. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Wear the mask. All that stuff. You know, it's still we're still not not there yet. Uh, smash the like button, like the bot says, yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed the news. The Bricks and Coffee number 14. Uh, episode 15 coming back next week as usual. If uh, Unless I take a weekend off, do I like a maybe uh, outing, then I'm gonna let you know ahead of time if I'm gonna be out. The only time these episodes will not be appearing on Sundays is when I just take a weekend outside of, you know, just take a vacation or something. But. Same to you. Thanks, guys. So happy Easter. Enjoy your your your, your weekend, your Sunday. Hope you guys are, are having a great day. And I'll see you uh, in the next one. Right-o. Okay? We good? Okay. Peace out.